Lantern Year 6, and there's snow on the ground outside. We got hit pretty hard for New Jerseyans. Yeah, luckily right. there's no snow yet on the ground at Mount Olympus. That's okay, true. I don't know if there's going to be snow. Maybe. Who can, knows? Can weather happen in this game in Kingdom Death? Well, I know there's definitely storms when we fought that stupid Gorm. You're just lucky we're not fighting that thing again. That was a, a pain. But we did get the best weapon in the game, mm. which is pretty cool. So. Not the Twilight Sword? That's not the best weapon in the game? Ooh, this might have been better. Okay. But you got to fight through weather to get there. Oh. Moving on. Uh, we are... We are Hit Points Gaming. Oh, okay. And if you are joining us, you know that we have a really small population now. Oh, yeah. We, we still and, only have eight people. Um, we have decided that in Lantern Year 6, we're going to fight a level 1 antelope. Yes. We're going to go back and try to get some pieces of gear. Um, so we have two complete sets. We just finished the White Lion armor, which... We actually switched over for Diana to wear, not the person with Katars. That was the whole point of it, and we'll explain why in a, in a minute. But we want to go fight an antelope to gain one, two pieces of armor before we fight the Flower Knight, which the plan is to fight the Flower Knight next year. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, I don't know if we're... Well, we're not doing a level 2 antelope. No. Still kind of worried about fighting level 2 right now with only two people wearing armor. So let's just get another piece, like I said, another gear or two. Uh, and we have decided, thanks to your comments, now everyone did, they, it was between Inner Lantern and Song of the Brave. Song of the Brave is a great choice. Yes, it's a great choice, but guess what? We're not fighting a level two anything for at least two more years. Two years, right. So the, it'll go back in the deck, correct? Yes. And we have a chance to pull it again. Right. So because of that, we went with Inner Lantern. Get it out of the way. It allows us to use an extra activation for points that a lot of people said. allows you to do Cat Eye Circlet twice or Cat Eye Circlet along with the headband if you have it on the same character. So mm. I think it's going to be helpful and it's just, let's get it out of the way. Oh, I never even thought of that. Yeah. So why, why, oh, we're ha we have it here because... Only because of the setup. We've got the fourth person, the utility person. I, again, no armor. No so armor, I get they're it. They're just going to stay far away and just So later still. in the game, I see why that would be very helpful. That right. you have three people attacking. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So uh, antelope now, and we got to make sure that we get all the acanthus plants and the bug that's out there. Um, we got to make sure we make it through the hunt phase. That's true. The antelope hunt phase is the suckiest. Oh, great. So, uh, let's show everyone who we are bringing out. Ares is going to be the first character that comes out now. Ares is a male, but, you know, right now he's, he's cross-dressing a little bit for this character. Uh, and he does come out with a red fist, so it gives everyone plus one, survive, uh, plus one strength token which we laid out, and here's just your standard utility class. He does have a bone blade, but he's just going to stay in the back and circle it the whole game. He's got no armor, and with Red Fist, you don't want to have that survivor really yeah, have, have a chance in danger. Dying. Right. He has no experience, which is why I want him just to come out and start gaining some experience. Um, you know, he can't get weapon proficient on anything. Really, a lot of our characters couldn't, because we still have the bone darts, so... Until I get a bow, I don't really want to put somebody out here that has that can gain proficiency, you know, with a weapon that they can't. Next is going to be Sif. Now Sif is going out with the knuckles, but without the armor set. She and Diana are switching armor. That's right. So Sif is just going out with the knuckles with the skull helm. Uh, she has plus one accuracy, so I think that'll help. And uh, because uh, we gained an extra survival for praying to the the statue last year, mm -hmm. and I think we have an innovation that does it. She has uh, Max, which is good, which is going to be five. Okay. Poseidon is joining us again this year, and he's going to be the one that's wearing the leather armor set. And because Diana now has a new weapon, he will be the one holding the bone axe. Um, another reason we brought him out and geared him up with the uh, armor is because... Uh, Two, was it two games ago? Mm -hmm. He gained the a fighting art tumble, which gives him an extra ability to take a chance at um, 
rolling out Rolling, the yes. And then which we is, know the antelope likes to run. Right. So this is super helpful for this particular fight if I can roll right. above go. a six. <laughs> six or above. Okay, and last, um, Diana, she is now wearing the full lion armor set, so plus three in all locations. She will be bringing out the king spear and the twilight sword. So after, hopefully, she makes a hit, the sword, then she'll take over and use the spear. Um, but unfortunately, and, well, blotted out, she picked up that fighting art, but she has so much sanity, insanity right now that hopefully this will never yeah, come into play come into play because she won't be taking brain trauma anytime soon. Um, and both my characters, I think, will be going out with max survival um, as well. Hunt phase. <laughs> Luckily, the antelope is pretty close to us since it's still just a level one. At this point. And we just need to obviously make it there safely. Okay, mm -hmm. so we are going to start with Diana. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see how many times we can roll events this time. Wow. Migration. Some unseen force had set off a massive migration. Nothing remains but unproofed, un, but uprooted acanthus plants and shattered ground ruined by hooves. Move the screaming antelope three spaces away from the survivors on the hunt board. See, I knew it. You knew what? I knew it was never going to be this easy with this antelope. Now, watch. It's one, two, three. Overwhelming darkness is actually a space. Forgot about that and it was pointed out in the last video, so thank you. Uh, but unfortunately, we are going to now be encountering overwhelming darkness. Which is what we didn't think we were going to right. by not picking the other innovation. Exactly. Wonderful, right? Okay, so now it's yep. Poseidon. Roll it up. Oh, it's a random? Yes, please. 44. Haven't we, didn't we roll that twice last time? I think it was 45 last time. Opportunists. While investigating the quarry's tracks, the survivors realize they are hunting not one, but two oh, we monsters. Did do, well, I think we did everyone in the book last year. The two sets of tracks soon separate, leading the event revealer to pick which track they follow. They follow the larger tracks, continue hunting as normal. They follow the smaller tracks, start the showdown immediately. At the start of the showdown, the monster suffers five wounds. The survivors are victorious, they only gain half. Oh, that so, would be so nice because we could skip the darkness. I know. But the whole reason we're going out is, is for resources. Resources. So. Oh, do you ever okay. not care about resources? No, I don't care. Yeah, uh, I know. Like, I don't know. Maybe at the very ever... end of the game. Maybe mm -hmm. at the very end. Uh, but we want to keep going on. Okay. We're so. pretty strong for level one. So. so we move up. Yep. Okay. So now it's Sif. Sif, yes. Teething. Screaming antelope hunt event. The survivors find a trail of large rotting teeth littering the ground. Hmm. Each survivor may scavenge. Roll a 1d10 on the tab table. Scavenging. Scavenge. Yes. Okay. We it can is... all do it. All right. Sif. Okay, a five and a six. Okay, I'm doing Poseidon. Nine. Uh, great. And Diana... Six. Okay. Okay, so a two to six, you find nothing of use. Oh. Which yeah. is good because we I didn't want to roll a one. Okay. It's bad. Do we find um, a tooth? Seven, an intact tooth. Gain one large flat tooth screaming antelope resource. Just the seven or seven to ten? I'm sorry, seven to ten. Wonderful. So well, one tooth for Poseidon. Excellent. When you gain this, the survivor your choice gains one insanity. I've got zero over here. Is that I what think that would be great. I'm like, what are you doing with that giant tooth? This is the first time I've been fighting. And Eric is like, oh. Don't you worry. So our, our main goal is to get pelts out of this deck. There's four pelts well, in here. Well, the tooth is a bone. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, okay. that's one less card. That's one less card, yep. One less card to pull. Okay. Moving on up. Here, where does this go? Gotcha. All right, so I'm doing a random for Aries. 39, so this goes away. I think it's going to be random. Right yep. Heavy mist. A heavy mist envelops the survivors, obscuring their lantern light. Mm. Roll 1d10. Oh gosh. Oh, thank God. 
If the result is even, oh, okay. the survivors stumble in the right direction. Great. If the showdown begins in the next space on the hunt board, mm -hmm. which it doesn't, okay, That's the monster would ambush us. Yes. Okay. You're like, oh, thank goodness when I rolled the two, I was a little... Well, if it was odd, we would have gotten lost or something. Okay. Uh, so it is... Diana again. Diana. It's a white tie again. Okay. okay. Again, 44. 44. Opportunist. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Just keep going forward. We I forget what that was already. Really? Oh, the right. We don't want to We keep finding the in. same monster. All right, so now we go to... It's because to... the monster got lost in the mist, and we didn't. Oh, that's why. So he came back around to us. Oh, okay. Well, we overwhelming darkness. I forget what this does. Okay, so we have to divide up based on three different paths. So, insane survivors walk the path of the insane. I am. Both. Okay. So, um, Ares goes out by himself? So. Uh, I have no other... Survivors with three courage walk the path of the brave. Uh, that's Poseidon. But, uh, I, I actually forget. Insane oh, survivors actually... walk the path of insane. I think you have to do that first. Okay, well, Sorry. both of mine have are insane, and they have three courage. Yeah, um... I guess you can pick. Insane survivors walk the path of... Survivors with three plus courage walk the path of the brave. If no other path, walk the path of doomed. So I think... Oh, that's kind of odd. I think you can pick. It's not like you must do this... First, and then do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I don't know this off the top of my head. Must determine their paths. All right. Well, I'm gonna do courage. Sif is doing courage. I think Poseidon and Diana are as well, right? Sure. So Ares is the only one doing. No, I'm the sorry. It's the path of the brave. Path of the brave. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. So I'm doing the path of the doomed. Four Aries. Nine. Okay. And then we all roll for the brave. Oh my gosh, read it. Let's do everyone's roll first. Oh God, I'm so all right, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Path of I'm the doomed. Excited, scared. Gain one insanity and one courage. Oh, thank goodness. So two. And Aries gets second courage. Okay. I'm satisfied. Got one from something else. So, all right. So then this is Sif. Five. Poseidon, five, and Diana, two. two. That's... All right, let's start with the two. You punch yourself in the face to chase away doubt. Gain minus one accuracy token. Okay, uh, four to six, this is what we both wrote. A massive whale swims overhead. Your guts quiver with its booming cries. You vomit in fear, but keep a brave face. Gain minus one evasion token. After this event, all other survivors gain plus one survival from your bold display. So this is why the Song of the Brave would be good, because now you would be able to remove the minus one tokens. Okay, let's back this up a little. I saw a whale in the sky. Yep, yep. Yeah, you're following. And because of that, I am now less evasive. Uh, yeah, whales are, like, big and slow. Right, which is, I could totally evade a whale, because a whale is slow. I guess you're trying to act like the whale. Oh, so then, because of this, I vomit. Yeah. Even though there's nothing gross about this whale. I vomit, and because of the vomit... You keep a brave face, though, while you do it. You're like, Bleh. And I'm like, wow, we gain survival from your great display. <laughs> that is the nuttiest thing. <laughs> this story is so nutty. But you gain minus one accuracy And Diana punched herself in the face. Yeah, that's, that's a shame, because... She really needs um, as much accuracy as she can get. That's why I like sword. And then the tank gains minus one evasion, and Sif, who has really no armor, gains minus one evasion. Great. But then we get to 
the actual hunt. Uh, we've got the terrain ready to go. Three okay. campus plants, okay. Okay. and then bug patch, and then we draw two more. I'm just gonna draw them. <gasps> no! Uh, let me pick one of them. I'm gonna pick the ore out of here. Okay. Like this! Two more acanthus plants. And survivor corpse. That's what we want. Okay, cool. Set it up. Set it up. Ah, uh, I remember our faithful foe. Right? This, this very basic antelope destroyed us last time. Um, so uh, kind of nervous, but we're a lot stronger now. Right? Uh, and I just looked up the overwhelming darkness. I was correct, there was a change in 1.5 compared to 1, that's why the wording's a little different. Mm. And you are allowed to select what path you want if you satisfy both conditions. Okay, so that. we are going to keep it the same. Correct. We just have... We just rolled crappy. Sure. <laughs> we're still here. It's not that well, bad. Well, we're not dead, yes. Uh, so you know, know and we all... I, we forgot, let's do this real quick. The people with the, the noses... Actually, she gains 2 survival from the event. Everyone should be at I'm 5. I'm at 5. And you gain the one because of the nose, the insanity. The stone okay. noses. All right. So let's start with Diana. You as the oh, well, Poseidon. No, let's start with the antelope. The antelope is first. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, hold on. Let me get right. my insanity. So the antelope has 11 wounds. Toughness is eight. Which I'm how not much would he have had if he was a level two? Wounds? Or she? Yes. Sixteen. 10 toughness, which still isn't bad, but it gets plus one speed and plus one damage, just like the lion. Uh, but then at the end of every turn, the antelope, um, if he's lined up with a survivor, he picks them and charges and like runs over you. And every time he runs, runs over you, he'll do two damage. So he's hard to like pin down. But can we use the dash thing? We can. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Oh, okay. That's why it's so important. To get, have dash, gotcha. yeah, and have enough survival. Because if you get to them and someone doesn't have survival... Well, then you're going to get trampled. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of out of luck okay. to kind of pin them down. So I think the purpose of this game, this match, and why we went with level one, hopefully it's a little bit safer, is let's wow. pick up all the acanthus plants. Yes. All the items there. And you need to hit with the twilight sword, even though you just punch yourself in the face. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult... To do that. <laughs> of course. It's All right. Be. So, Antelope goes first. Oh, Diana. Gore. Full move in the direction the monster is facing. Then turn to face the closest survivor. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he doesn't stop and eat the account. Oh, no, that's the ba mm -hmm. basic move. Now, pick target random survivor in range. Okay, so it's everybody but okay, good. Aries. Well, not good, but. All right, so you roll it up. So two, four, or three, six, nine. Who do we not want? One to three. Oops. We, right. Three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Oh, no. Okay. The one, one two, that three, we don't four, want. Five, How much six. damage? Well, uh, one attack, it just knocks me down. Okay. Uh, now, what I could do is I could just dash out of the way, and I won't get attacked, mm -hmm. which I think I'm going to do. Okay. I have an opportunity, so I'm going to dash over to here. Okay, and then the monster goes one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Okay. That's the end of it. Uh, and I spent my survival. Get the amazing tokens out. There's my dash. All right, perfect. Okay, so now it is our turn. Um, I'm going to, uh, circle it. Alright, so, Ares is going to circle it first. Because the only thing we really need to worry about from the hit location is for some reason, uh, you, A, hit a, a dense location if you're attacking with the axe. Because I think you should get one wound with the axe, because you'll start gaining proficiency mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason there's a card that eats your weapon like what happened last time. We, don't we do not want to let go of that sword. Or right. the spear. Right. Or the knuckles. Okay. Or the, any of our weapons. Actually. Really anything. All right. Nothing bad there. Tail, palate, and delicate inverted knee. Okay. This is if you fail, that bad happens. Okay. So two not bad and one. One. You have to we spend just can't survival. Fail. You can't fail. Right. Okay. 
And then she's going to move five. Or Aries is going to move five. Yes. He's going to start getting Get over. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sif. I'm going to leave Sif. Because he's probably, or she's probably going to... Two, three, four, five. Shoot. Okay. Now. I want to get over and punch him in the butt. Well, sword him in the butt. Okay. Now, what's difficult with the Twilight Sword? Oh, do I get this, less movement? Well, you can only, in order to activate it, you have oh. to spend your action and your movement. The way around it is, is you could dash, dash right now. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, like this. Okay, so that would be spending your dash. So I'd have, this is a, that's a survival, yep. correct? Yep. Okay. So let's just... And then what you can do is you can now activate, because the white lion armor, you can activate the pounce move. So you spend, an act, you spend your activation, your action, and your movement to move three spaces, and then you get to activate a weapon. You can activate the Twilight, the Twilight sword. sword. Checked it out. It ignores, you're allowed to even do this even though it's cumbersome. And because you have the full set, you also gain plus one accuracy when you pounce. That would be great if I didn't gain a minus one accuracy token. Right. But you want to try it. I think you're in a good position. I think so too. So now you spend everything to pounce here. Okay. So you hit on a nine normally. But because I'm behind him, it would be an eight. eight. But then I have plus one accuracy, minus one accuracy. Right. So it's still an eight. Yeah. That stinks. <laughs> this is I the best you can get. I only roll one die. One attack. Wait, Eight. plus one. No, I don't have any. Yeah, extra. You got plus one speed that does not matter. Mm. It's just trying to. Well, that's it. You checked everything here. Oh, my! I get a plus one movement. That's oh, if, if I you connect had the two reds. bottom. Yeah, which we don't. The white line sets really hard to use the affinities. Oh, uh, okay. So this is it. If you can get this out of the way by rolling an eight, nine, or ten. Well, let's see here. I have a plus one accuracy with the pounce, and then a minus one. You already said that. Come on. Come on, eight. Just get Come out of the way. Eight. Do it. All right. That's my whole um, turn. Yeah, that is your whole turn. So maybe you want to attack with uh, your tank to try and just score a hit, because we know these aren't super dense. Is that okay? Right, yes, because he has the bone axe, so I don't want to be involved with a super dense. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm going to move to get behind him. Okay. Or do you want me on the side in case can he turns? Get, can you get in front of him? You could probably get in front of him. Wait, where was I here? Yeah. One, One because two, three, four, five. Right. Oh, because we want him to, to be, be the attacked. person that I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Poseidon, you have plus one strength. Hit on sixes. Okay, with my lovely bone axe. Right, one. one. That's the furry tail. You strike the magnificent bushy tail. So strength of the axe is three. I have plus two four, strength. Four, five, plus one strength because of red fist. Six, you just need a two to wound. There it wound. is. I smacked him go. on the tail even though I'm in front of him. Okay, so now let's just check the weapon proficiency now of Axe, of Axe just so we don't forget. You got the one point. So now you really don't have to wound anymore because we don't want the fight to end until you wound with the Twilight Sword. Right. Right. Okay, so if you want, you can headband now to see what card's coming out by surging. Oh, by surging. Right, because now we can make sure what card can... Because I'm probably going to search the survivor's Which is court. fine, because he can always roll to get it back. Right. Okay, so I'm spending a survival. Surge is going to be... I am going to re-roll. I do not get it back. What is it with me and the waters? All right, chow down. This is where they heal. Oh, right. a trait infested. When this comes to play, the monster gains plus one toughness token. Not so bad for us, because our strength is so strong. Okay. Discovering the ticks is gruesome. Roll 1d10 for each survivor. On a result of a, we suffer brain damage. 
draw an AI card. When the survivor ends their act adjacent to, oh, this is when we could gain minus one. Um, strength. Strength. Well, and then we draw another AI card, so we're we gonna probably put Chow, Chow down. down on top. There's no Acanthus plant on Showdown. Full move towards it and it heals. Okay. He's going to heal? Yeah, so you know what? Huh. I might attack with Sif. <clears throat> okay. Instead of picking up the corpse right now, just to get rid of these cards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And I'll get from behind and attack. Okay. Now, which one do you want to get rid of more? Well, probably the Chow Down, right? Because he heals, right? He's yes. And we want the Cancer Plants to ourselves. Yes. All right. So I'm going to... Yeah, let's go one, two, three, four, five. I can always come back to get that. Mm -hmm. You're not that far away. Okay. Uh, four attacks, because I have both knuckles. And I hit on sixes, accuracy plus one, five from behind. Fours. Knuckling them from behind. Okay, two. All right, we know what these are. So let's do the first one. Uh, strength is four. Five, six, two to wound on the inverted knee. Crit! Critical. It's a way nice. to start. Persistent injury, crushed knee. The screaming antle balance is ruined. When the monster starts its movement, roll a d10. A result of one, he gets knocked down. Okay. And now he gets a minus one toughness token for the attack. So it's still only two. So the pallet, six. That's another wound. So there goes Chow the two, down. Yeah. Yep. All right. You leave those acanthus plants, Mr. Antelope. That's very. That's exactly what I said to him. I'm gonna check my weapon proficiency. So this is one for guitars. Oh, good. And I think that's all we're gonna do. Yes. All right. Mhm. Mm you go here. Yep. New round. So all of our tokens reset. Now we just don't know what this is going to be. Slam. Closest knockdown survivor. Negative. Furthest threat in field of view in range. You're in range, aren't you? I am. you got to get yourself out of here. Can you... Speed 1, accuracy 2, damage you... 1. It's really not even that you bad can't... of a hit. You can't spend one, survival two, three, when he's attacking. I learned it. We are when I'm attacking. When the monster is attacking, this is exactly when I can spend it. Because I just did that. But I'm going to actually just take this. Because if I go all the way here, it's going to walk the whole way, and it's far away from us. So uh -huh. right now, it would just be like one, two, three, four, five. And look, one, two, three. Let's I can't see. get there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, okay, we'll do this. Okay. And I'll just take the hit, and then one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I can't even get to... Well, can't you go over here? No. No? I'm silly. Oh my I set gosh. myself up incorrectly. I'm just going to stay there. It's only one damage. Okay. Oh, I'm getting into the target, so I gain an insanity. If this hits me on a two, miss. Wow. Uh, I'm not even afraid. Wait, when do That's we... That's not even the right character. We, we have to roll a 1d10 when the monster moves? Yep. That's a shame, because you just rolled a 1. So at the beginning of the monster's turn... Oh, you're right. He did. Correct? Can you repeat that? Is that is correct. We critically wounded his knee. Yep. So you have to roll at the beginning of his turn before he moves. And what did I roll? You rolled a 1. Because that would have been the first roll. So he's dead. He fell down. He fell down. And guess what you need to hit against a fallen down monster? A two? No, a three. Oh, a three. So for the twilight sword, all you need is a three. Right? Is it my turn? It is. Yes. And we know that the next one... So is there a behind when they're down? Nope, it's just three. Okay. All the way around. So... Okay, so here you go. Let me, let me throw this set out Set this there. up, set this up. Let me set this up. So, if you want to be able to have two chances to attack with the sword. Yes. Okay, what you need to do is dash, 
to gain an extra movement and spend your basic attack. Then if that fails, then you surge and spend your basic movement. That's a way to attack twice with Cumbersome. Because you can't attack normally, move normally for your one, and then dash and surge as your other. Because you can't trigger them both. As soon okay. as you trigger one, you can't do, you the, can't other. do the other one because then the first one's spent. So in order to do both, both, just in case, you should, let's say, surge right now. I mean, dash. And then your basic action. Okay, so I'm spending a survival. Okay. So Here's now my you, attack. All you have to do is hit on a three. Nine. Hit. Okay. Hit. Now, what you need to do is just wound. Restless hoof. hoof. Okay. Do it up. Strength, nine on the Twilight Sword. I give you plus one, ten, eleven, you twelve. 12 versus 8, do it. All you needed is a 2. Okay. Then I take the sword and I put it in my pack. <laughs> I take it. out the freaking spear. Okay. okay. So that's a wound on the antelope. Check your first mark in Twilight Sword. Because guess what? Now you hit on 8s normally. Whoa. So it gets better. You mean next round? Yep. Okay, uh, so now you still have a movement, if you like. Because now we can, just, we can just go to town and kill this thing. We got what we know. Oh, we know. We don't want it. We want to pick this up. So maybe you move closer to all the plants. Why? I wouldn't be the one attacking. Yeah? Um, well, I can only pick up one, really one or two plants at a turn, so if we can all pick this up quickly... Okay, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, well, wait, where was I here? Yeah. How would I go here? Okay. Okay. So... Let's Poseidon? See. Sure. Or do you want Poseidon to do the corpse? Since I'm standing right next Probably to it. Probably the corpse. Let's do him last because we might want to headband just in case. Okay. All right. Agreed. So I'm going to move here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I do have a ton of survival, so I'm going to just dash. Yeah. Just so I can get to something. I'm going to go here, stand on it. Okay. And then do I circle it? Let's play it safe. One more round of circling. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Furry throat, restless muzzle, and restless tiny hands. All right, let's do that. So we're safe for the top three. Okay. And I am going to surge to have another action, and I'm going to pick up the bugs. Oh, okay. Is that all right? Yes. All right, so the bug patch. Nine. Nine. Gain one random vermling resource. Vermling resource? Well, that's how we got the ants last time. Oh, I forgot that that's so what I'm it was finding, called. I'm finding bugs out of this. Got it. So I find some crab spiders. Hope we have some medicine for those crab spiders. Ooh, archive it. Hide. Oh, it counts as hide? It does. Oh, that's actually really helpful. We need that. Yeah, we definitely do. Save that, and then this goes away. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him. Okay. With this? Yep. Hits on threes. Whoa! Okay, well, three three hits. We know what those three are. Yes. Let's see if we can get some wounds here. So again, I the think I just wound on tiny hands. Four. Oh, we five, want you to critically wound two. on the tiny hands. All right. So let's do the muzzle first. Oh, actually, two of them give you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm off That's somewhere okay. else. Muzzle first. Wound. Furry throat. Wound. Come on, crit, crit. Critical crit, hands. Crit. Nope, mm -hmm. just a wound. Wait, what did that say? All adjacent survivors gain. Oh, okay. Because they're freaked out by the tiny hands? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we are down to one, two, three, four wounds left. No way. So you don't want to kill we him. We better a campus plant this. Yep. I should survival corpse it. So I'm actually going to move. Okay. Over here. 
Okay. Okay. So yeah, do you want to yes. corpse it up? Yeah, we don't want to headband it. You could corpse and then surge. Okay. Corpse. Search that body. Poseidon. Come on. Nine. Seven. Seven. Gain three insanity and one skull basic resource. That's wonderful. Get those resources. And then someone can gain one insanity when you get this. You. Okay. Right? Sure. Yeah. Wonderful. Who is you? Aries. Aries. So right now we've gained three, Two three new resources. And one hide. That's helpful. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's see. We've got gore, full move direction, facing, slam, and we don't know what else. So, yeah, let's surge. We'll know exactly. Okay, spending, and then I'm going to roll to get it back. Okay. I do not get it back. All right, so it is bolt. And then here, just grab the next one. What do we got? Slam. All right. Close to knockdown to survivor for this threat and field of view in range. We don't really want that. Oh, look, both of them are for this threat in range. Is she in range? Let's see if you are like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. So okay. it's going to be one of these two. Okay. Um, slam. Okay, less less attack. It's less movement, because then the other one, he moves again. Oh, no, we want him close. Uh, so then you can move if you like. He's going to come over here. Okay, so... Wait, which way? So what, he's going to like turn yeah. and go this way? Yeah. So, one, two, three... Maybe go help some get some plants. Over here? Yeah. Okay. Because we're going to be able to kill him quickly. I'm not too okay. nervous about getting damage. Okay. Let's get the plants and, and move on. So, new round? Yes. Monster goes. It's going to be... Slam. slam. Close knockdown for his threat in field of view and range. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can pick. Um, do you mind if he goes after Diane? No, Diane but wait, there? could I have positioned myself over here? Yeah, you could. Wait, is it closest or furthest? Furthest. Well, isn't that him? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, it could be you too. Yeah. All right, perfect. So go over there. Uh, I'm going to roll to see if we fall down. Okay. Nope. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, how's that? Yeah. Perfect. That's the whole reason I'm wearing the armor. That's true. All right, one attack hits on twos. You got a bunch of evasion, right? Mm, I don't know if six is enough. Well, uh, two, three, four, five. I hit you on fives. I have a minus one. Okay, I hit you on. Wait, is he? Col he's not colliding with me. Nope. Okay. It's one damage to the hand. I think you can take that. Ouch. I can. Okay. Spoiler. Our turn. Spoiler alert! I can. You can do it. Let's get these plants, and uh, I'm not even going to circle it right now. I'm just going to. Okay. So, uh, Cantus plant number one. Let's see if we get the card out here. Hopefully we can get a lot of fresh acanthus from this. Yes. I think I get hurt. Suffer one arm damage. Something bites you. Ouch. Okay. Archive the terrain. I'm going to surge and go again. Okay. Seven. You find something tasty and consume it. If you do, you gain a survival. Okay. That's it. And then I'm just going to move. Actually, let's... Move here. Okay. Um, do you want to go? You can pick up these two plants if you like. Okay. Okay. So, Diana, we'll start with this one. Okay. We want an eight. Six. Six, so you gain a survival. Okay. Diana. Oh, Diana, sorry. And she's going to spend it. Did to, you? Yeah, 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 to spend it to do the other one. To do the other one. Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. Same thing. Get it back. Okay. Yep. Wait, did you just take it away? I did. Oh, no. Okay. Then I'm going to move here. Come on, we need, we need an acanthus plant. 
Gosh, Sam. Gain a survival, which survival. I'm gonna spend right now. There Eight. it is. Good. Whew. One. Again. Well, hey, we still have two more to go. That's true. All right, and then you've got your your boy oh, yeah. right here. Oh yeah, he can attack him. Sure. We just don't know what cards are coming out in case it's a dense location. That's all I'm saying. So do you want me to go over there and do the acanthus? Or headband. headband. Basic headband. Okay. We can do that. Because the fight's almost over, right? Closest knockdown for this threat. Gore full move in the direction the monster is facing. Turn to face the closest survivor. Random threat in range. You could just move down this way. Close so I don't get what knocked range. over? Yeah. Yeah, but remember I have tumble. Sure, or you could just move out of the way. Okay. Right? One, two, three, four, five. You can go here. Okay. Is she going to get tumbled? Uh, she definitely is, yeah. Yeah. Um, she just gets so knocked down. So what if down. you pick the other one? Full move straight away from all survivors. I, I guess you could do this. It's just a little silly. Why? Because he's nowhere near us? He's just going to run away, so... Close is not going to further threaten range. And then he runs away. It's just going to add a little time. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, then, yeah, maybe you just... Get over. Do that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. New round. Monster goes. Further threaten range. Bolt. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do you again. Okay. On yourself. I think it hits on... Oh, that's a miss. Full move the screaming antelope. Oh. oh, yep. That was the one! That's the one. He gets knocked down. He does. Falls down again. This poor antelope. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so if we get these Our two campus plants, we can kill him. Yes. Would you like to go first? Show... Or do you want to circle it? I will definitely circle it. Okay. Let me let me do the acanthus first. Okay. Yes. Eight. Yes. Another, another one. one. Okay. And then I'll circle it. I'll spend a survival. This is good. Hey, I will take. Look at the difference of this fight compared to the last time we fought on acanthus. Uh, the, the fight is not over yet. Right? Okay. Uh, the fight is over. Cards. We've got the inner thigh, restless shoulder, and restless eye. Critical on that. Screaming antelope resource. Oh, yeah. Probably this one. Just to see if we can gain as many yeah. resources as possible. Okay. Uh, then do you want to go here with Poseidon to get the last acanthus? Sure. I get another one. Six, it's a survival. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then now we can finish. Can I can move me? Sure, I'll move you closer. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Five. All right. Uh, so he's got four wounds left. You want to go with the spear? Sure. You just go like that and attack. Okay. Two attacks. Okay, the spear. Oh, actually, I've never had the spear. Because I have. You had Plus one spear, spear, didn't you? Or did I have you it? You had it. it. Mm, okay. Two attacks, you have plus one speed. So three. It hits on sixes. It hits on sixes. Minus one accuracy. So it hits on. Se oh, I'm so but sorry. But he's down. He's down. Hits on threes. So, so just one. One hit! Alright, the rest of the shoulder. You wound, I think, on a two. Come on, crit. Oh my god. Playing it. Seven. There you go. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Your blow <laughs> clips the screaming antelope shoulder and it jumps back. Turn to face the attacker, then, oh, never mind, this is all canceled. Yeah. Because he's down. All right, I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five. Oh, good, you can get there too. Okay. Hit on threes. Wow, two. two. You would think that, uh... All right, uh, this first strike, I have to do this one first. His, His eye. His massive eyes glisten 
with human-like fear. If the attacker is insane... Oh, I sure am. Yeah, what does it do? It's bad. Cancel all hits and their attack. Because I think you actually have to do this. This isn't, this isn't a reaction. So even if it's on the ground, I still think you need to do this. Okay. I'm surging. Okay. The on threes. Three of them just don't want that trap. Trap was the first one. I know. Okay. The screaming antelope panics, its under mouth unleashing an inhuman wail. It buckles widely and leaps into the air. The attacker is doomed. Doomed just means I can't spend survival at all. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster level, knock back five, and are knocked down. Oh, you're not adjacent. You are one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we suffer two brain trauma. Not bad, because I'm down to two. The monster land. Okay. Wait, I'm not adjacent? No. Oh, okay. The monster lands in its belly and begins to slide on its feet, turning the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. It's like this, and it goes to the edge. If you got collided with him, you take a um, random disorder. Mm. Okay. Oh. What happened? Oh, you got it. I was going to see if it fell down again. No, he's up. Uh, all right, so that was my, that's the end of our turn. Right? Yes. So now, new round. Monster goes. Okay. Pick which one? Okay, that's what's coming out. Slam. Closest knockdown survivor. Not even within range, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be me. Six, seven, eight. Yep, so it's, it's you. Okay. Um, here you go. See if you fall down. What do you mean? The monster. Oh, the monster. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Doesn't even reach you. Oh. Yeah, it's not within range. So it okay. just walks on over to you, and it's our turn. So I will circle it as we stand up. Giant Giant mouth. teeth, super dense. If you crit, you gain a, a resource. Oh, so is the nice. restless flank if you critical. So we have giant mouth, giant teeth, and a restless flank. All right, so let's do these two. Because we want the resources. Yep. If so, we can possibly get them. Uh, try it with your spear first. Okay, walk me over. I'm going to get you right behind so you can get the extra accuracy. Please. So you, now you do sixes. Because you're behind. Sixes because I'm behind, three dice. Yep. Come on, Diana. It was a lot easier when he was knocked down. One. One. Okay, with giant teeth. We want the critical here to gain that extra resource. I'm going to yeah. take the remaining critical. Do it. Eight. Wound. Down to two. Um, mm. Okay. Ooh, what was this one? That should have been... In the bottom? bottom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So he's got two wounds left. Do you want to attack? Who do you want to attack with? Poseidon. Okay. Because it's not super dense anymore, right? Right. So you can just move in and attack. Two. Two with the bone axe. Hits and on sixes. Hits on sixes. Because I'm in front of him. Two hits. All right. The giant mouth and the flank. So the mouth. First. Oh, wait. If you attack with a melee weapon, the wound result is a one or two. It consumes your weapon. <gasps> So let's do the flank first. Okay. Okay. Do it up. Seven. Seven. It's a wound. He turns to face you, and now it's the giant mouth. So a wounding here kills him. Three, four, five, six, a two, and the antelope is defeated. 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 Seven. Wonderful. 
Antelope Whew. is no more. Okay, let's pick those resources. Good, good fight. Good fight. Good job. Easy. Yeah. Easy year so far. Mm. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. That that is the definition of easy. Easy. Yeah. Not okay. Jeez. What did we lose? A one point of armor. Yeah, I think so. It's easy. Okay. Okay. You wanna, am I spreading them? The only problem with spreading them is, well, these aren't so bad. You know. What's the problem? You can start telling like which ones are which. How? Well, some of the fonts, like the shading. Oh, maybe not. I don't do that. I'm just saying. And people. Here, you, you can pick. Go ahead. I can't see any fonts. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck you're talking about. So we're looking for high. We're looking for high. This is just basic, though. Okay, bone. Or one of each, really, because we still need to innovate. We still, so an organ would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Not oh, a broken lantern. We do need a scrap for a piece of the armor. Okay, well... No, am I picking all four? Sure. I'm gonna pick the second one. Okay. Great. Hide. Hey, I'll, I'll take an organ right now, because then that's our innovation. Oh, hide. I'll, I'll definitely take that hide. Good job. Okay. <laughs> now is what this all... Now you get to pick these. Oh, great. Well, I get uh, two and two. I don't like when I pick all of them. It's not fair. All right, two and two. Okay. Well, I'm, okay. 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 <sighs> okay. Okay. Again, I can't see the fonts. Okay. Good. I meant like shade, not font, but it's okay. Pelt. There's four pelts in here. Well, there's our organ. Okay. Wait, two pelts would be wonderful. There's that bladder again. We could activate blood paint. Blood paint? Yeah, it allows you to attack with two weapons at once. Mm. <sighs> Are you nervous about picking it? And if we fought a level two. Easy fi Oh my god. Three more. They Did were the you top just three. pull three? I, I just pulled three pelts. Well, we got no armor from fighting this. Well, we could give someone a can't you make another skull helmet? I could, but there's really no point. We've got one here. Alright, well, so we have least, a surplus of bones. At least right? we refreshed our resources. And we can innovate. We can definitely innovate. Uh, maybe we build a new location. Okay. We got some fresh canvas. I still say we go out and we fight the we fight the flower knight. We were really strong in this fight. We have the two people that go up front. You know, now that we can build a dry decanthus, we can have our our fighter go out at least with one, so even if they take a, a severe... Well, yeah, let's take a look and then we'll come back and let you know. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't really have much to build this year. We got mm -hmm. a bunch of resources, but nothing to really... Well, nothing to make in the antelope set. Right, and we don't have enough to build a new... Location. Right, to make new weapons or the leather set, or, or you know, to unlock the leather area just yet. But I think we're, our weapons are pretty good right now. The Beast Knuckles, that's one person. Until we can build the, like a range weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the Twilight Sword and the, the Spear. And then the tank doesn't really need a weapon right now. Right. And the Bone Axe is pretty good. So, well, we return. Everyone gains an experience. And I think you trigger... Diana Ages. Okay. So this is the second age, right? This is her? her second age, yes. She has now one, two, three, four, five. She has six experience. All right, so this is improved reflexes. The year sharpen your reflexes. Roll 2d10. 12? Yeah. Gain plus one permanent strength. 
Okay. The one thing that I don't need. She probably doesn't need. But so I'm at plus three permanent strength. Okay. And that's the Poseidon that. doesn't. You will next year with Sif. Yep. And Aries only has one. one. Okay. All right. So we increase the timeline. So oh, we, we get have Diana train him. That's true. that's true. And then he'll go up. That's a good idea. So we are entering year seven, and we have to do our good old... Uh, whew, ten? ten? One, two, three, four. Glossolia. I don't know if I actually have ever done this. The settlement calls out to the returning survivors in a current chorus of unknown tongues. Each survivor in the settlement begins to speak in their own inc incomprehensible language until all the sounds of the settlement are replaced with a never-ending babble. Nominate one survivor. Let me look at the list. Okay. So we only have four, four others. Actually, everybody is, uh, everyone's been made. So the four people that we've got aren't with us: Ra, Freya, Thor, and the unknown. Probably we're gonna call him Zeusless. Get it? Cause he's useless now. Zeusless. So do we nominate Zeus? I don't know because if it is something good, I know. We can't use it. I know. Okay, so wait. Who has the most experience out of them? Well, here's the thing. Thor has not gone out yet. He has to go out to fight the Flower Knight, so maybe we nominate him. Okay, so if it's something good, then it'll be a positive for if him to If it's bad, go. well, whatever. Okay, I agree. All right, Thor. Oh, actually, I don't know if there's any rolls yet. Oh, okay. So oh, it, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure you need to roll. It doesn't say to roll? No, it doesn't. Ooh. Ten! The nominated survivor words carry above all the others. As they speak, the others begin to learn their language impossibly fast. The nominated survivor gains two understanding. Oh, you have them? Right okay. Here. And adds the title Father of Words to their name. Thor, Father of Words. No, that is like a, a, an upgrade, or that's just what, what that he's called. Your settlement may endeavor at science and education innovations normally this settlement phase. Oh, because right now, this year, you couldn't do science or education innovations, like endeavors, even though we don't have them, I guess because no one can understand each other. Oh. But because we have the father of words he's here. He's telling us we yeah. can. And... What happens now? Requires pictographs, which we don't have, so we um. can't do that. Or, for an endeavor, mm -hmm. deep listen spend two resources. Without language to distract them, settlement lean, learns to tie their movements to the beating of their hearts. Departing survivors gain plus one movement tokens. So the next fight, everyone has plus one movement. No. No, I'm not losing two resources. Moving on. No. To wear dancing shoes. No. So Thor got two understanding okay. out of that. Two understanding and... He's got a nickname. Okay. Great. Update the death count, which is nobody. Okay. And now we do have one story event, which... Do I have that here? Yep. It's called... Phoenix Feather. So this is new for you. I know that... This guy right here. Ooh, look, there's this giant feather. Ooh. That lands in our Where settlement. Where did that come from? A fallen feather fills the settlement with dread. Oh. The sky bubbles and murmur as a dark presence, presence tears through the atmosphere like a negative lightning bolt, sucking the air and energy from all who gaze upon it. A light rain begins. The survivors turn their eyes up to see a huge iridescent feather slowly floating towards the ground. Their lantern lights reflect strange rainbows off the twisting feather. A primal fear takes root in the settlement. You may now hunt the phoenix. Added to the quarry list, 
nominate a single survivor to speak. Well, I guess uh, the father of words. Ah, that's going to be words. Thor, the father of words. Right? Okay. okay. They gain plus one courage and break the silence. Seven. Seven. The survivor exclaims that the fallen feather is the most beautiful and dangerous thing they have laid their eyes on. Each color runs perfectly into another, and gazing upon it, it imparts a strange sense of longing. They are convinced that there has never been something so perfect in this world. Mm. The survivor greedily hides the feather from the others. They gain the crazed fighting art and the hoarder disorder and plus one courage from stashing the feather. So he's got two courage. Returning survivors gain two insanity. So all of us gain it. Crazed and hoarder I have to get. All right, so. Jeez, Diana's at 17 insanity. Crazed, on a perfect hit, gain plus one insanity. Okay. Just like it was the Thor. And then, hoarder disorder. What do you think the hoarder is? Oh, and by the way, it's quixotic. Not quizotic. 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 Yeah. Like quinoa. Okay. Because it starts with Q-U. Quinoa. Um, quizotic. Did Charles tell you that? No. Hoarder, whenever you are a returning survivor... Oh no, something happens with the, the stuff we bring back. Archive one resource gained from the last showdown and gain a courage. So okay. whenever he goes out, he stashes something. We don't get it. And he gains a courage. Great, and he has to go out on the next fight. Freaking Thor. Now, we have four endeavors. So that's it. That's it for our stories. Okay. We are going to innovate we definitely for innovate. one. Now, I will say, we do have drums. That doesn't change anything. <laughs> I guess the original drums allowed you to get rid of disorders. Um, but this drums, again, remember, it allows you to gain Rhythm Chaser or Synchronized Strike. Who has Rhythm Chaser? Doesn't someone? No, blotted out. Maybe Did someone old. Did that person old? die? Could have been. What's Rhythm Chaser do? Gives you plus one evasion. I thought someone had it because we brought them out on the fight for... Which one? We brought him out the fight for the butcher. I think Poseidon might have Rhythm Chaser. It's a fighting art. We just might not have written it down. So I'm going to have to double check. Because that gives you, whenever you get to a showdown, you get a plus one uh, evasion token. Oh. Okay. I'll okay. see who has it. Because whoever our tank is for the fight against the Flower Knight should probably do this. Okay, but to your point now, we are going to innovate for the first, All right? Because what we're building here, our two fresh acanthus becomes dried, and since we're not too sure what the flower knight has waiting for us, we are going to build one set of bandages. Heck yes! I don't want to die from random bleeding. Heck yes. All right? Okay. Four cards for innovation. What is the number one thing we're looking for? Face. Paint for the babies. Ready? I'm just gonna pull top fours out of. Oh, I know you like to pick. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, but last time it burned us for not picking the top one. So I'm gonna pick the second one. Sculpture. I'm gonna pick the top one. Shrine. Oh gosh, I can't. I can't. I can't. You pick one. Ammonia. Which we might want to pick out of all. Okay, those. give me a shuffle. Give me another shuffle. Give me another shuffle. But ammonia we could get for free. Okay. Good. With the lion, but we're not you gonna get the lion again. What would be the second best thing to get? Um, face painting. That's the first best thing. S not scarification. I'll tell you that. 
pictographs. Forbidden dance face painting. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Listen, they're too busy fighting. They're not worried about... Well, we need ammonia if we want to start making leather. That's definite. Okay? It's a requirement. And when we depart, all survivors gain an extra survival. Okay. Okay. It, it's good. Survival, uh, yeah, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good to get. Now, you could pick up, like I said, you could pick up ammonia for free. I have a question. Okay. Okay. Since we didn't get ammonia until now, we can't build anything. What correct? Or can we? What does the rawhide whip do? Oh, let's take a look. Oh, but no, we could build it right now. That's in the That's the, the only thing that ammonia gives us that we could... Let's see if they changed it. ...build with resources. Rawhide whip. Three attacks, hits on sevens, one strength. Hmm. Provoke. When you would wound with this weapon, gain the priority target token. So that means that no matter what, the monster attacks it's you. you. So if you give it to the tank, no matter what the card says, it's going to go after. I know, but the tank is never going to be using the whip. He uses the headband. But now we can surge. Headband, whoosh. But really, you don't need the headband if you know the next card is going to go after Okay, we'll think about it. We'll That's like I don't the think only thing do. Ammonia does. Okay, so what are the other things? Alright, so Shrine, for an Endeavor, um, on a, you roll a die on a four or more, we, all the parting survivors gain plus one armor to all hit locations. Whoa! Okay. That's kind of nice. On a th one to three, they gain Insanity instead. Uh, sculpture, you create an inspirational sculpture. I think you can forego a fighting art and then other people can learn it like you make a sculpture of this fighting art okay. and people can learn it okay scarification yeah what's that um roll roll one of these dice for me waste, waste. destroy genitals that's that's what it would do roll another one for me like what do you want to scar yourself today with body you gain the tough fighting art. That's what it does. You roll a location and you get, you scar it, and you gain a courage for doing it. And then you're like, ah, my eyeball, I'm blind now. That's what scarification does. Okay, we're definitely not choosing that one. The best thing that you want to do is, is, is scar your hand. You get plus one permanent luck. Okay, well, no, we're, we're not picking that one. So it's, it's, I guess it's really Shrine or Ammonia. Shrine helps with armor. And it's if, if you roll a four, four or, or more, more. Yep, we all get... Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. What do you guys think? Yeah, especially right now. When we're all kind of... Two of us are lacking the armor that we need. So yeah, we've got Ammonia gives plus one survival to Departing Stars, but we have the statue, which could give us... And a lot of us have survival mm -hmm. going out. We've got the acanthus plant, so we're getting survival when we depart. And like I said... You mean the stone noses? The, yeah, and the stone noses. And with the, if you fight a lion, one of his hunt things is if you have three or more understanding, you gain ammonia. Yeah, but I thought you just said we're not fighting a lion. We're not, but it's a way to get it, possibly... So there's other ways to get this rather than through the deck. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Shrine, you bring up a good point. Right now, the one armor to everything. And we have the endeavor to spend. Yeah. Because we're not making babies. Right. You want to do the shrine? I think we can. Okay. All right, let's do shrine. Bring that out. And now we have three endeavors. I say we... Try Shrine. Um, I th we're going to leave one Endeavor open just in case Poseidon needs to gain ri Rhythm Dancer, Rhythm Fighter. Oh, okay. okay. I'll look it up. But none of our characters have it, so it went to somebody. Do you have the ones that died? I put them in the other room already. Oh, so it, it could them. be someone else. Yeah, I'll double, I'll double check. So I think let's do Shrine. Are okay. you okay with that? Yes! 
Great. Maybe use once per settlement phase. So we're gonna use it now. We're spending this. Okay. Do it up. Shrine. Does it, it does it have to be someone specific? Nope. Okay. Come on. Come on, five. Come on, five. Eight. Perfect. Yes. All of us get plus one armor next fight. That's gonna be very helpful. So we have two endeavors left. Uh, we could pray to try and get Yes. Survival. Alright, so a one to six, someone gains plus one understanding. So how about he's got he's two away. I'm sorry, let's see what we are. Or he's got he's one away from Oh, then yeah. Poseidon already okay. had it and she's two away. So let's do it for Thor. Spending Wait, you this. can pick anyone in this settlement? Yep. Okay. Yep, well, yeah, because he has to be going uh, on the next fight, right? Zeusless is one away, but we're not going to use him. What about Ares? Zero. Oh, okay. All right, so Thor. Three, gains an understanding. Okay. So I'm going to do that now. That is insight. But we don't gain survival? No. Okay. Insight. Okay, this is the settlement phase. I get, um, what is that word? Insight? Where am I? Oh, here it is. All right, so I get Tinker. Oh. So I get plus one endeavor when I'm a returning survivor. Oh, Did that's anyone, cool. No one else got that, right? No. Okay, and then I roll a d10. Five. Begin an extra endeavor this settlement phase. Oh. So well, that lets him. That's let that somebody else lets someone age. Oh yeah, Aries can age. Or, or you're saying do another... we do another one, pray. I'm sorry. How close are you to your understanding over there? She has two to go. Two to go. Okay, I think we let's have Aries age because Aries is probably going to come out onto the fight because of Red Fist. Okay. All right. Okay, so Diana is going to give look. Aries a hunt experience. Yep. So he ages. I'll roll my two d tens. Thirteen. Thirteen. That's probably a random fighting art. Yep. So are all the fighting arts? Could I grab them? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Okay. So now we have one endeavor left. So this, that's the one we're going to save for drums. This endeavor is going to be saved for drums to have Poseidon gain a potential. Um, right. I'll really? check it out. But if not, let's have him do the statue or anyone to gain the extra understanding. And we can roll for that now. I'll oh, have to give to, to Diana then. Okay. Alright, so here's my fighting art. Crazed. Alright, perfectly gain insanity. Okay, so Diana is going to roll for the Stoic statue if yep. Poseidon already has drums. Okay, Three. so she just gains a understanding. Oh, Thor gains Crazed and Hoarder. All right, and that is the end. Um, yeah, as much as I would really like to fight an antelope to be in armor, I think we want to show off the flower knight fight. Yeah, nobody right? else has seen it before with us. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect, and we're getting that plus one armor, mm -hmm. unless we do that plus one armor for a level two antelope. But I think that's scary. Yeah, but at least there's a certainty in knowing what you're fighting. Mm. There's the uncertainty of knowing with the with the knight. I don't know, but a level one might always be better. We're probably gonna do the flower knight. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for checking out our episode again. This is this is coming out I think at Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Staying on track to that schedule. Yeah. And let us know what you think, if we're doing the right thing by fighting the Flower Knight, 
You think we should go back? If push him fight, off another year? If we fight another monster, what should it be? Should it be a level two? I have a question. Okay, yes. What is the next required fight Good that question. we have to do, and how many years from now will That's that be? That's a wonderful question. All right. So we pick this fight. Next one. Oh, we have to fight, I think, that lion knight. Places everyone comes in. Oh, the play. crazy one with the with the performance. Yeah. So that's it. It's just next year, and then we have to do something else. Right. Oh, to me fighting the antelope to get armor might be better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Let us know. What you think. Oh gosh, please let us know. Good? Yeah, and we'll see you next Friday. See you then.